So the Washington Nationals have been quietly just stockpiling some players on minor league contracts. And these guys have had a major league impact, okay, on various teams. So, and what they're doing is they're getting some guys to fill out their roster where they've got to build a roster around um, Juan Soto. So, and bringing in guys like this can make an impact, and they're doing it at a low risk way. So, if, if I were the Yankees, I'd be taking notes. I mean, and uh, because they could potentially have, you know, bringing some guys that can have an impact. And again, low key signings can have to make a, can make a significant impact, minor league or major league level. And the Yankees brought in Scott Brocious. We never thought that was going to happen. What he turned into be a Yankee hero, but he did, and a, and a bunch of other players too. But um, keep me with a couple little caveats here. I mean, the logic to me is, you know, getting guys in there helps you fill a roster, and also takes guys away from other teams who might be. You know, looking to bring in these guys as well. And by bringing them on a minor league contract, they're not immediately on the 49, 40 man roster. So, and again, the Yankees can do that right now and they can bring several guys in because they have a lot of holes to fill. And none of them will be on the 40 man roster. And then they can decide later whether they want to put them on a 40 man roster. Obviously, if the, if the players are willing to do that. But it could be a wise move for the Yankees. And I would be considering, you know, seriously considering bringing in some guys on minor league contracts if they can. And again, it takes them away from other teams. And keep in mind, after this lockout, you know, teams are starting to do this more often now. After this lockout, there's going to be a smaller pool of guys to to fight over because of guys signing, either going to Japan or signing minor league deals with teams. So, the Yankees already signed Jose Peraza to a minor league deal, and um, he's got potentially some pop. But there are other positions that the Yankees could fill with some with some of these guys on minor league deals, especially with guys that have some major league experience. So, um, by the way, if you want to be if you want to know if the Yankees do any of this stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. If you haven't, then hit the notification so you'll know exactly when they make moves of any type of kind uh, or any kind. And um, with regards to anything lockout or MLB based, you'll be notified up to speed on this channel. So I will keep you posted on everything. But D. Gordon signed yesterday with the Nationals. Michael Franco today with the Nationals. So not sexy moves, but a minor league deals. And again, a, a, a kind of a crafty way of just filling up the teams. And they'll be, obviously, they're not on the 40 man, so they'll have to be transitioned over there if they make it. But uh, these guys can make an these guys can make an impact. They've made impacts on other major league teams. So um, it would be wise idea for the Yankees to consider bringing in a couple guys right now, especially since they're not even at a 40. They're not even at 40. They're 39, and it's not like any of these guys are going to be put on the 40 man anyway until the lockout's over. So signing a few guys to minor league deals are boosting the upper levels of the minor league system, especially if they can get catching, would be a good idea. So you guys let me know what you think of this and uh, who you think that might be a good idea to bring in on a minor league deal. So Dellen Betances might be one of them to bring in on a minor league deal. He might have an impact. He was great with the Yankees. He might have an impact on the road. Just a thought. But you guys let me know what you think. Talk to you later.